in bed. No, you're not. Why not? Because. Because why? A, it is practically lunchtime. And B. And B, I have work to do. Oh, you just finished telling me that you didn't have any job to go to. I mean, here, I have painting to do. Ah. Wait on you, hand and foot. What did I just tell you? You said you had to paint. I, therefore, will stay here and make sure that you have food, drink, and company whenever you need it. For my instant coffee, I can't find any beans for the grinder. Hallelujah, I told you, do not make me breakfast. Why not? Why not? Because. Because. Because why? <sighs> because I... Because I have to go to Chicago today. What? Yeah, I completely forgot about it until just now. It just completely slipped my mind. I'm sorry. You're kidding, I, now? No, yeah, I have to go meet an art gallery owner down there, and I'm really sorry. Oh, well, so much for doting on you all day. <laughs> what time do you think you'll be back? I could have dinner ready. <laughs> what is this obsession you have with feeding me? Well, you certainly don't feed yourself very well. Uh. Hmm? Listen, I have got to move or I'm going to be late, okay? You know what? I really like it when your hair is all messed up like this and you haven't shaved. Uh, I'll miss you. I'll be back in two hours. I promise. I'll miss you anyway. In fact, I think I might just curl up in this bed and wait. Olivia, uh, listen to me. I will see you later. Hey, wait a second. Huh? Aren't you going to take your slides? Uh, slides? What, what slides? Of your work for the gallery owner. Oh, no, 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 no. He knows my work. I know him. It's really more of a business meeting, okay? But thank oh. you for reminding me. Bye-bye. Okay. Wait a second. <sighs> I miss you. I miss you, too. Bye-bye. I'll see you later, right? Yep. Bye. Bye. Josie? Hey, Olivia. Hi. Um, listen, do you have a lunch date? Oh, yeah. Well, um, I got a hot date with a tuna fish sandwich. Why? Oh. Well, why don't you come to Tops? It's on me. Sounds like something's up. Yeah, well, I'll explain everything there. So, uh, can you come? Of course I can come. Great. So, um, let's see. An hour? Is that okay? That's perfect. Great. I'll see you there. Okay, bye. Bye. So I thought if, if Jake was bugging Paulina, then he could have been doing the same thing here. Why? What do you mean, why? Well, what could Jake possibly hope to gain by bugging our phone? I don't know, but if he was bugging Paulina, who's to say that he wasn't doing the same thing with Marley? Donna, this whole thing is getting way out of hand. Well, at least this phone is, is fine. Well, what, if it ha what if it hadn't have been? Then I would have called the police. How's your hand? I don't know. I, I'm not going to do any more chopping wood at the farm. For a while, I can tell you that. Actually, I was going to go see the doctor. Uh, you want to go with me? No, I want to check the other phones in the apartment. Donna, wait a minute. And Jake had no reason to bug the phones in this apartment. What could Jake possibly think he'd find out that he could use against us? Iris? Are you serious? Barry, did you do it? What on earth would I know about bugging somebody's phone? You've always said that you wanted to prove Paulina a fraud. Well, that doesn't include donning coveralls and breaking into your home with a little electronics kit. No, I figured you'd job it out. Well, did it ever occur to you that somebody else might have it in for Paulina? Who? Oh, this is absurd. I don't think so. I think it follows a certain amount of logic. Why is that? Tapping someone's phone is illegal. One naturally thinks of you. Thank you, Rachel. Although I must say I can't blame you. If I was in your place, I'd probably assume the same thing. I have pulled the odd devious trick in my time to get what I wanted, goodness knows. Oh, I don't think goodness has anything to do with it. Did you do it? No, I did not. 
But I must say, I wish I'd have thought of it first. <laughs> you better not be lying to me, Iris. I'm not. Sorry to bother you. Bye, Rachel. Bye, Lucas. Now that that's over, where were we? Why did you lie to Rachel? Oh, for heaven's sake, don't you start. Harris, you were very curious about that uh, surveillance equipment I bought to use with Marius. In fact, you even asked me for one of the bugs. Did I? You know you did. If the police get it, trace it back to me. Then what are we going to do? So, this dog walker sees a blonde coming out of Jake's building, right? But he can't tell if it's Vicky or Marley? Right. I showed him pictures of both, and he said it could be either. Surprise, surprise. Or neither. Now, it, it does help poke another hole on that first witness's ID of Marley. Chris White? Yeah. Yeah, Vicky already took care of that. He can't tell a Vicky from a Marley either. But what if this blonde is another blonde? Then our suspect list grows while our checking account dwindles. So I missed this one. Oh, oh, I'll take that. Thank you. Looked like the phone bill. Is that what it was? Yeah. Ah. Uh, l let me take care of it this month. I, I, my treat. Your treat? Yeah, I feel flush. Why? Uh, forget about it. Cass, since when do you kvetch about the bills anyway? Since you said that was part of being a responsible married homeowner. Did I say garbage like that? That's hard just to believe, isn't it? Hey, give me the phone what bill. What is this, Frankie? Lucy and Ricky? What, what is, is the it with you? Will you? you give me the hey, phone Cass, bill? Cass, really, this is. A... Ooh. Well, I really wish you hadn't done that. Hello? We owe the phone company $250? Yeah. What, do we, do we miss paying last month and the month before? No. Well, well then... We were right on time. How... Who called Beverly Hills for 97 minutes? Odine! Yeah, yeah, I was going to do this my way. Young oh, Dean! Dude. Dude, now you have to stick your two cents in, and now we're going to... I wish I had two cents left, left to stick in. Who does he think what? I am? Melvin Belli? No, Melvin Belli wins his cases. Hey. I'm kidding. Who do you think is going to pay this phone bill, Dean? Mm, beats me. Beats me? Uh, would you get your feet off the table and away from the food? Oh, man, do you know how much I hate carrying on like this? Really? But I came naturally. <laughs> Who do you know in Beverly Hills, Dean? Is that... is that on there? You said you had never been out west. Oh, I haven't. Well, I have a contact out there, uh, as you can see. He has a contact. Well, it's a friend of a friend of a bartender's at Sassy's who uh, hooked me up with the vice president in charge of Bandit Records, which happens to be one of the hottest indie labels going right now. And you talked to this contact for 97 minutes? Let me see that. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I had to go through several secretaries first. And that took 97 minutes? Well, some of them were very nice young ladies, you know. And one of them gave me the home number for the vice president. You called this guy at home? Not bad for a Ricky, huh? How about this one? To New York. Mm hmm? Mm, yeah. That is a producer guy that I met. So, you know, ah. I'm trying to get him to do my demo for me, but he doesn't want to come to the Midwest. Who can blame him, right? Have you ever even seen a telephone bill before, young Dean? I try not to pay too much attention to those things. You know, they have a way of taking care of themselves. Well, now, you see, that's, that's just the point. You either pay attention to these things, or, which is another way of saying you pay them, or you ignore them. And then the telephone company disconnects your service. Well, then you better pay that sucker, or else we're going to be using little Dixie cups and strings. Okay, wise guy, okay. I've heard enough. Yeah, stop yelling, okay? Don't yell! What am I supposed to, just stand by quietly while this kid bankrupts us? And what's your hair still doing wet, anyway? I just got out of the shower. What were you doing three hours ago when I knocked on the... I needed the bathroom? I was taking a shower. You see, Frankie? You see? He takes three showers a day, and that's when I'm here. The mind boggles at how much water this kid must waste when, when I'm away at the office oh, all day. Oh, what the heck? Why don't we fill up a tub on Saturday nights so and we can all take a shower? Hey, you want to stay here? You want to stay here, you're going to have to live by some rules. Number one, no, and I repeat, absolutely and 
Oh, long distance telephone calls, unless you can prove to me up front that you have the cash to pay for them. Dean, you were going to pay for these calls, weren't you? Yeah, of course I was, as soon as I got my advance in the record company. Yeah, I'll be in the nursing home by that time. What's that supposed to mean? It means you either accept responsibility or you lose privileges. Cass, I sweep up floors at a bar. How am I supposed to come up with all this You don't money? play hotshot with other people's money. You got it? I got it. Okay, I got it. And there's another thing. You're staying out too late at night. Frankie worries. Oh, Cass, come on. And I, I think that on the nights that you're not working, oh, you can get wait, home a curfew? Little... You want me to have a curfew? Dean, we'll talk about this Who do you think on. you are? You think of my father? It's a lousy job, but somebody's got to do it. Yours obviously didn't bother. Oh, oh that's it, all right? That's what? it. I'm finished. That's it. I'll get you your damn money, okay? Oh, I'll believe that hey, when I see it. Hey, don't you say something you'll regret later. You know what I regret? You want to know what oh, I regret? Tell me what you I regret. I regret that I owe this, this stiff shirt one red cent. That's what I regret, okay? Yeah, I don't know what you got against me, okay? But I don't really care. All I need is a blowhard standing over me with a pink slip. That went very smoothly, didn't it? Why are you on his side? Amanda, how's Alice? Oh, she's getting so big. You've got to come see her. Well, actually, I saw her last week. I was over at Sam's. Oh. I think it's great the way the two of you are putting aside your differences for her. Well, I don't really have too much of a choice. L.A. is the only thing that Sam and I have in common anymore. Well, if there's anything I can get for you, just holler, okay? Thanks. Well, that was pleasant. Forget it, Amanda. I brought you here to enjoy yourself, not to obsess about Who's Sam. Who's obsessing? Look, can we change the subject? Sure. You thought he'd come back last night. I thought we were going to change the subject. We are. Amanda, I need your advice on something. Okay. Do you think Jamie knows what he's doing? What? He's convinced that Marley's innocent. Yes, I know that. Well, he thinks I'm not. Oh, I don't think he's gone as far as to believe that. Amanda, really? he has. I'm afraid he, he's going to try and make it look like I have... I'm the one who shot Jake. Jamie wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. Well, I don't think he would have done it before Marley got Look, arrested. Look, even if Jamie does believe that you shot Jake, um, he wouldn't be able to prove anything. He didn't do it, right? Well, of course not. Well, then forget about it. Excuse me. Could we have a wine list? Thanks. I want a drink. How about you? Yes, I just might. Well, what a nice surprise seeing you two here. Can we join you? Or is this a private conversation? Don't be ridiculous. Oh, all this stupid... I'm not your fiancé any longer. And if you have any value judgments to make about me, I wish you'd keep it to yourself. Iris, I am trying to start over. Now that Marius is arrested, I've settled all my old debts. The last thing I need is a surveillance device that I gave you turning up in an attempted murder investigation. Oh, and what makes you think that the bug that you gave me is the one that they found in the little orphan girl's phone? Because she's no longer a little orphan girl, and that makes you hyperventilate. Drink? No. Well, I do. I do remember that you, that you gave me one of those little listening things, but I haven't really given it a second thought since then. How much trouble are you really in, Iris? I'm not in any trouble whatsoever. Afternoon. Lucas! I see what you mean, Ryan? Mrs. Wheeler, I need to ask you a few more questions. Concerning? The shooting of Jake McKinnon and his fascination for surveillance equipment. Can you help me out? Ellie Ewing. Nice to have a chance to chat, don't you think so, Paulina? I know you do love these big family gatherings. I know what you're doing, Jamie. What am I doing? Why didn't you come to me first? When you found the bug in my phone, you practically skipped to the police with the information. Who skipped to the police? You got to Ryan Harrison with an explanation before he even knew I had the bug. Jamie, let's not get into this here, please. Here, at home, it doesn't matter. I am ready to talk. Paulina is the one who's hiding something, not me. You even know me. Oh, you're right. I don't. What would you have done if it was Amanda or Matthew? You would have talked to them first. You would have trusted them. Paulina, they have been my brother and sister a little longer than you have. Jamie, enough. 
and I asked you not to say anything to her, and you went right on and did it. Glad I did. She trusts me. Yeah, well, maybe I'd trust you, too, if you hadn't lied through your teeth since you got here. Jamie, come on. I thought we were all past that. Well, I'm not. Jamie, you're upset about Marley, but this behavior is inexcusable. You believe me, don't you, Rachel? My mom has a good heart. Would you change the subject, please? You no, know, I knew this would happen. You say you've accepted me into this family, but the first sign of trouble, you're ready to run me out of town. That's not going to happen, Paulina. Mom, you can't force me to feel the way that I don't. I can expect you to be respectful to everyone. I'll tell you something, Jamie. I know you'd gladly sacrifice me to save Marley. But I love this family too much to let you get away with it. I won't let you do it. Excuse me, I have Paulina. to go. No, I... Peace offering. What's this? Tea. Chamomile, to be specific. I'm sorry I lost my temper. For and that. I'm sorry I lost mine. But he is out of line. I have an idea of how we can talk about something else. I'll bet you do. Yeah, um... You stayed home to work, so let's work. I don't want to talk about Bills or Dean or anything else for the rest of the day. Truce? Truce. Mm -mm. Okay. All right. I think that we can really piece together what happened the night Jake was shot, but it's a little different, and I'm not sure you're going to go for it. Try me. Okay. We have three possible suspects aside from Marley. For the moment. Right, but we'll just focus on them for the time being. We have Vicky, Paulina, and Iris. Go on. We'll start with Iris. I'm Iris. And I must be Jake. I know it's a stretch, but... I'll give it my best shot. Okay, I have this really funny feeling about Iris. How so? Well, I, I think that she's holding back a major chunk of information. Well, knowing Iris, that would be a reasonable assumption. No, she, she swears up and down that she and Jake were just business associates. Right. And yet there's no business. Jake is telling the whole world he's making a video, but aside from the sophisticated project, there's no work. We know that. We also know that Jake was rolling in dough. Where did he get this money? Iris swears that it didn't come from her. <laughs> Iris would swear she was Davy Crockett if she thought it would keep her sweet tushy out of a jam. Um, appropriately, if crudely put. Okay. Let's reenact that night. Let's say... Iris went to see Jake. You should be dressed much more sexily than that. How do you know that? If she and Jake were involved... Whoa, she... whoa, where did that come from? Iris liked to go slumming, right? And Jake seems to have been catnip for the ladies. Right, okay. Right. So, Iris was dressed for success. Iris is dressed for success. You haven't called. I call when I want you, and I don't. I could kill you for that. Cut. Not subtle enough. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, you're right. I'll tone it down. Um, I know you still want me. Face it, baby, it's over. I can ruin you, Jake. I can take away everything you have. Marley, your business. You may not want me, but you're addicted to my checkbook. Addicted to the checkbook. That was good. I like that. The thing is, is it true? Lucas, you don't have to stay. Oh, I don't mind. Unless Ryan does. Oh, no, I don't care. As long as I get my questions answered. Well, I don't know what this possibly has to do with me. I don't know, but I'd like to find out. Well, uh, surveillance equipment. 
I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. We found a bug in Paulina Corey's phone. Rachel told me. And? And? And we have reason to believe that he was wiretapping other people as well. Really? It's possible. Well, I just don't know what any of this has got to do with me. I understand that you fired Jake more than once. Well, I certainly gave him more chances than he deserved. Well, he was bugging his ex-girlfriend. It's very possible that he was doing the same to you. Why? Well, maybe because he was angry that you fired him. Oh, of course, yes. Do you mind if I uh, check your phone? Go right ahead. Believe it. Looks like Jake thought he could get something from you, too, Iris. Any idea what that might have been? Can you... I had no idea. Did Jake McKinnon ever try and blackmail you? Well, no. He, he, he wouldn't have anything to, to blackmail me with. McKinnon seemed pretty desperate. Maybe he was trying to get the inside dope at Corey Enterprises. There is no inside dope at Corey Enterprises. I know that, Iris, but Jake didn't. Did Jake ever... Did he ever surprise you with things that he knew? What do, what do you mean? Well, did he ever know things about your company or your personal life that he shouldn't have known? No, look, I, I, I hardly knew the man. Well, then how did he get in here and bug your phone? I don't know. I just know I wouldn't put anything past him. Thank you very much for your time. Oh, look, if, if you do find out who, who planted the bug... I'd appreciate it if you'd let me know. I sure will. Good afternoon. Lucas? Brian? <clears throat> what are you looking at me like that for? So you had him put the bug in Paulina's phone, and then he did the same to you. Oh, wait a minute. I saw you. The night Jake was shot. So? You were out of it, Iris. You were really, really tense. What are you implying? The night Jake almost died in the hospital was the same night you came to me about buying some meaningless piece of art for cash with a backdated receipt. I told you it was for tax purposes. You were lying then and you're lying now. No! What is this all about, Iris? I tell you what it's all about. I think you're paranoid and you're hallucinating. You shot Jake, didn't you? And then when you found out he was alive, you went back to the hospital to finish the job. I'm right, aren't I, Iris? You did it, didn't you? Remember Paulina's party? Oh, a lot went down that night. Yeah, we'll do that when we do Paulina. But Iris, remember how drunk she got? Vividly. Yeah, so maybe it wasn't just that night. Maybe she's been drinking a lot. What's your point? Lucas broke up with her. Maybe it's because he knew she was having an affair with Jake. Nah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But maybe after breaking up with Lucas, it drove her to Jake and, and to the drinking. Okay. Okay. So let's say she was drunk that night. You swore we were in this together. In what together? I'm not sure. Let's keep going. You told me you loved me. I lied. You, you swore you would leave Marley. And you were dumb enough to believe me? Then what did you want from me? Why did you say you cared about me? I wanted me? your cash, Iris, and that's it. You're so pathetic. You made it so easy. I'll kill you. Right. Get out of my face, Iris, before I throw you out. How did she know where to find the gun? She could have known he had it. She, she could have gone through his things. I think we may have gone overboard. No, I don't, Cass. I really don't. I think it's possible. Listen, I'm sorry about before. I, I didn't mean to make you feel awkward. Oh, no. No, that's all right. Um, I'm just glad that Sam still manages to let you visit with Allie. Yeah. 
It's nice for me. Yeah. It's difficult, though, because uh, we used to do the visiting together. Oh, honey, I know. You know, if it's any consolation, I do know what you're going through. I guess you do. I'm sorry to hear about you and Mitch. I'm sorry to hear about you and Sam. Oh. Well, isn't that a small world, look? Oh, boy. I'm really not in the mood for feeling uncomfortable, so I'm going to sneak out of here before okay. he sees me, okay? I know that look. He's in the mood. Well, let's see if I can handle it. I'll Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye, bye. Hey, come on. Let's get some fresh air. Well, hello to you, too. Hi. Hi. We get along so well. I can see that. You know, I saved you from yourself in there. Oh, did you? Oh, yes, I did. You know what you had? You had that look of, oh, gee, I feel so sorry for myself, and I'm here to get rid of that look. I don't feel sorry for myself. What I'm feeling now is guilt. Guilt? Well, I'm a master at that. Come on, talk to me, uh, Sam. Oh, all right. Um, Olivia spent the night last night, right? Oh. I mean, it was great. The girl is totally loving. She's sweet. She's there for me. And... But? But... I... But if I hadn't gotten out of that apartment, gotten away from her, I'd have gone nuts. I see. Hence the guilt. I mean, I really love being with her, but... I don't want to say this. I think you're going to feel a lot better if you do. All right. I felt totally closed in. Sort of cramped your style? Yeah, in a big way. Sam, maybe it's too soon for you to get involved with somebody else right now. I really thought I had waited long enough. You know, but I don't think this is the right thing for either of us. We're both so happy, you know? And this feeling, I can't describe the feeling. It just feels right. Yeah, I, I think I know how you feel. I'm absolutely crazy about him. And Sam? Well, he's... He's still healing, you know, but he needs me. And I know he just doesn't need someone. I know he wants it to be me. I'm really happy for you. Thank you. Just, um, one word of advice, okay? What? Always. And I mean always be honest with each other. No matter what, no matter how scary the truth is. Because if you're not, it's gonna level up in your face. It always does. Yeah. I already made that mistake with him once before. Believe me, I will never do it again. And Sam... He's got to be the most upfront person that I have ever met. I don't believe it. I thought that you were going to Chicago. I guess your meeting was canceled. I never had a meeting. I wanted to be alone. And I didn't want to hurt your feelings. So. Olivia! Hi. Hi. Well, um, you want to have lunch with me? How's Stephen? He's fine. How's his father? Mom, I'm sorry if I upset you before at lunch, or I made a scene. But there are things about Paulina's involvement with Jake that just do not add up. Jamie, I know you want to clear Marley, but you're not going to clear her by implicating someone else. I'd never do that. That's what it feels like to Paulina. And she's got a point. <laughs> you see her side, don't you? You're seeing what you want to see because you're worried about Marley. Mom, none of this is personal. I just want to know how close she was to Jake. You know how close she was to him. Then she's not telling us something. Why would he bug her room? We don't know that he did. Paulina was terrified of him at her own party. Maybe none of that is our business. I have to get to the hospital.
I'm sorry about that. He's upset. He loves Marley. When the truth comes out about that night, we can pass this. I hope. I'll get it. Hey. It's for me, Rachel. What are you doing here? Uh, I came to rescue you. I beg your pardon? Yeah, let's get uh, Darren to uh, fire up the old limo. Maybe we could go turn some 360s in the parking lot. you can't just show up here like this. What if somebody sees you? What was that? It's not a good time, all right? It doesn't look right. Oh. Well, oh, forget it. I'm sorry I even came. Hey. Well, uh, what? I'm not good enough to be seen in the, in the daylight with you, but it's okay at night when you're all alone without a friend. I didn't say that. Sure you did. Sure you did. No, I, I've heard about these people my whole life, Paulina, and they can be friends with whoever they want to. If you were really one of them, you'd know that by now. Don't do this. You want space? You've got Olivia, it. Olivia, I did not mean to hurt you. That's nice. That's real nice. You did anyway. <sighs> Will you stop this? Let go of me. Don't you get it? I feel like an idiot. I am the idiot. I'm the one who lied to you. That's true. That is absolutely true. And now I am going to get out of your apartment so that you do not feel the need to run away from me anymore. I do not want to lose you. Oh, really? You have a real strange way of showing it. I'm an artist. We're weird people. That's oh, it. Don't try it. Listen to me. One day we are friends and the next day we're lovers. That kind of intimacy has a whole lot of baggage with it. Oh, I see. So now I'm baggage, huh? Damn you, have got a mouth on you when you get angry. Listen to me. I just want to expect go of me. Listen to me. I will let go of you when you hear me out. Sometimes I need to be alone, okay? When I do, I get cranky. It is selfish, it is mean, but it has nothing to do with how I feel about you, and it has nothing to feel how I feel about us. Well, we're still in us? Yes, I certainly hope so. God, you have got a temper on you. Like it? No, but I understand it. I am sorry. I lied to you. You should be. Are you still mad? Come here. Get out! I'm not going anywhere until I get the truth! I am not telling you anything. Aren't you the man who told me that he knew me better than I knew myself? Now you're accusing me of trying to commit a murder. Not once, but twice. You've made me an accessory to this mess, Iris. Oh, that's what all this is about, isn't it? It's your reputation. It's your skin. You're not at all concerned about dragging me through the mud. I'm going to see Cass. Then you'll really be involved in it I, all. I want him to know I had nothing to do with what happened to Jake. I did not shoot Jake McKinnon. You paid him, didn't you? You paid him to plant that bug. That's why you needed that cash. And you needed a cover on what you spent it for. You paid him, he planted it. And then he tried to expose you. No! Oh, come on, Iris. You're talking to me. Someone who's been around the block a few times. The way I figure it. You either paid him to keep his mouth shut, or you shot him to make sure he did. Which is it? Next. I am as much a part of this family as any of my brothers. Oh, sisters. bull. Bull. What the hell do you know anyway? Ooh, nice mouth. Which, uh, by the way, suits you better than this dep routine. You're really not very good at it, Paulina. Look, Dean, there are things going on that you don't know anything about. Oh, come on, you know I'm right. You are so insecure about who you are, you can't let your little family see me come over and play. What, if I, if I had blonde hair and blue eyes and a, a rugby shirt, some loafers maybe, that would be better, would it? What is it? My coat? My second-hand coat? My earrings? Do I embarrass you? You're wrong about me. You're kidding yourself. You are. You know, I like you, Pauline. I do. But when you talk about this house and this family, this, this glaze comes over your eyes. And you know what it does to you? I'm sure you're going to tell me. Yeah, I will. It makes you unattractive, at least to me. But then again, what do I know, right? I'm not good enough for you in the first place. I'm out of here. See you later.
sure I see Reba and Iris. It's provable, yes. Yeah. Be a lot easier if she talked. <laughs> Not likely in this century. No, it isn't. Maybe we should do the reenactment thing with the other suspects. Yeah, we could do that. Sure is uh, lucky both witnesses saw blondes. Why do you say that? Because if they hadn't, I don't know how we could narrow down the field in time to save Marley. I'm going to check with Angela, see if there are any messages from Marley or Victoria. Would okay. you bring this up for me, please? Sure. Careful. Watch your hand. I will. Thank you. I don't believe this. You think 10 people lived in this place? So we found bugs in three telephones. Iris Wheeler's, Paulina Corey's, and your girlfriend's. Sorry. I want to go over this place one more time, see if we can find any tapes. They're not here, man. I've been over this place with a magnifying glass. Yeah, well, maybe he's got a safety deposit box. We'd need a court order. Yeah, well, then we'd have to tip off the captain and the DA. Tapes sure would help nail somebody. Marley McKinnon, her sister. Yeah, but we might not find him in time. Especially if that guy never wakes up. What if we pretended that we found them? Oh, man. I know what you're thinking. Good idea, huh? You let it slip that you've got the tapes, then the woman who knows what's on him goes nuts and makes a mistake. And, and... we nail her. Pretty nifty, huh? You want to lose your job, don't you? You're crazy. You're completely crazy. Where are you going? To seek Cass. Lucas, you can't do this to me. Please. You're lying, Iris. You're lying to me. You know what happened that night, and you're lying. All right. All right. I was in Jake's loft the night he was shot. Head over to the Peach Pit for the delicious dish on Brenda, Brandon, Kelly, Dylan, and the whole Beverly Hills gang.